Richard Zanuck. I was head of production at 20th Century Fox. My father started the studio, so I had, one would say, a slight advantage. But I started in working in all of the various departments of production as a young boy. Every summer vacation was spent in various departments. So, and I had actually produced uh, three films before, uh, one for Warner Brothers, before my father came back with The Longest Day, took over the studio, and put me in charge. And so that was the, that's my history of how I reached that position. There were major problems due to Cleopatra because the, the studio really, when, when we came in, uh, my father was very concerned that The Longest Day, which was the, the love of his life, uh, would be uh, not properly distributed because there was such a cash crunch at the studio. And, and so he ended up taking over the studio. He was the biggest stockholder. And, uh, but the studio was in total disarray. Uh, when he put me in charge, uh, I actually, the first thing I did was close the studio down. There wasn't anything shooting. One little t television show, Dobie Gillis, and we closed the studio, let everybody go. And one of the projects that uh, I kept going was The Sound of Music. And, and so I kept writers on. And I, I had a very teeny little staff going. And The Sand Pebbles was brought to my attention at that time by Robert Wise as the book. And so we started developing that into a screenplay. And the, the, with several other pictures, the Doris Day picture and so forth, a Jimmy Stewart film, we started up again very slowly. And the Sand Pebbles was always dictated by weather conditions and the enormous uh, physical problems that any film company would face by going uh, setting out to, to capture that story on, on film. And uh, it was actually that delay because of uh, climate and, and weather and everything else that I saw an opening for Bobby to come and do The Sound of Music, uh, which I'd been preparing actually with Willie Wyler. And uh, Willie and the screenwriter Ernie Lehman and I had a major difference of opinion about the last act and Willie actually left the picture. And with the delay on uh, the sand pebbles, I went to Bobby and said, look, it's gonna take us months and months and months to get that organized and then it'll be the wrong time of year. You don't wanna go there uh, at that time come and do The Sound of Music first, and then we'll do The Sand Pebbles. And, and that's actually what happened. And so he ended up doing both. Both were great, great pictures. It was a tribute to him. It was a feather in my cap. Certainly The Sound of Music you know, became a huge hit. Uh, Sand Pebbles uh, was a very highly respected film that was, uh, I think, among the best films that I had anything to do with. I'm more proud of, of that picture than practically anything else that came out of the studio at that time.